So Pat was born in May 1939, May 16th, and she was born in the hospital in St. John's. And then, according to mom, they stayed then at Grandma Myrtle's and Grandpa Clinton's house because dad didn't have a farm. So they stayed there about a year and a half until a, a farm was available just about a quarter mile away and it would be along with a fox farm. That's when they bought the house and the house didn't have any electricity, running water, it wasn't insulated. The shingles, a lot of the shingles were gone. And so literally it was a shack. And then Kathy being the older one will have more memories of Pat when she was young than I would. Well, yeah, because I remember with the house that um, they kept, you know, whatever money they had, they would work on the house. And, uh, and I was always with my dad and my older brother Bill and Fred. And Pat was always hanging up washed. I just remember her washing clothes and um, since she was older than I was, cleaning in the house. She loved to work and help mom probably make bread and stuff. Um, food like that in the house and prepared. So then she moved out of the house. Um, I never played with Pat that much. You know, maybe in the wintertime we played games at the table and stuff, but like I said, I was always that outside with my dad. Uh, probably 10 hours a day. So Pat was born in 1939, then Bill in 1941, then Fred in 1942, mm -hmm. then Mom had several miscarriages, I would, I'm assuming three. I thought it was four. No, three, three? between okay. uh, Pat and, or between Fred and um, Kathy. Then Kathy was born in 1947, I was born in 1949, and then Mike was born in 1952. Two. And yeah. so then after that, Mom had a miscarriage. So Pat's responsibilities on the farm would have been to take care of all of us. But then she got sick too with her. So um, in 19, when she was seven years old, seven years old, in uh, 46, she came down with osteomyelitis. And osteomyelitis is a bacteria that will eat away the bones. And the, what saved Pat was after the World War II, the penicillin vaccine was, mm -hmm. uh, penicillin was released. Before that, they didn't have penicillin to the general public. And then uh, Pat, a neighbor died because uh, there wasn't any penicillin, and but Pat lived. So what did the osteomyelitis do to Pat? It ate away her bone, especially in the back of her knee. Mm -hmm. And weird. later on, she then had to have a constructive surgery to fix uh, that area that was just all scarred up and, and a little bit shallow. So now Pat, then, her responsibilities would have been to change our diapers, um, and Pat then would have done the cooking, helped with the cooking, she would have left where she learned to bake with mom, following mom, she was great at baking bread, That's what my mom, our mom when, uh, with the family would bake all, I, about every three, two days. Pat, when I was seven, Kathy was nine. Uh, and then Pat would have been 18, she left. And that was typical back then uh, for someone who didn't want to stay on the farm uh, to leave. And there weren't very many people in her class. She, went, she attended uh, St. Joseph Catholic School. And, and from the first grade until the eighth grade, I don't believe she went to kindergarten. They probably didn't have one at the time. Then she went to Puyallup High School, which was just a tiny school. And then she probably graduated with about 11 to 14 uh, other classmates. It was very, very small. Pat excelled at secretary work. She excelled at taking shorthand, and she excelled at typing. But back in those days, they had manual typewriters. And if you made a mistake back then, you would have to carefully erase it on the, uh, on the paper. Plus, they would have carbon paper and then you'd have another piece of paper. And, but she rarely, rarely made mistakes. She probably was the fastest taking shorthand. You took shorthand because if you worked for an executive, a male executive, 
it was it wasn't even very few female executives in the United States. Well, and then she was getting so good that you could verbally talk to her, and she would type it as you're talking because she would just retain it and type that fast too. Well, you you could do shorthand like about 360 words. Of, oh, sure, you know, but I you know, much I, faster. But yeah. she did that too because I uh, she could do that because I would be saying something and she was typing too. And when she'd come home too, we would dance together doing the jitterbug in the living room. <laughs> We would dance together, so she'd have these little records on and put it on, and she's showing me these steps, and I think I got my love dancing from her, because we would just, um, she was the man and I was a woman, so we were just jitterbugging. <laughs> And just like you see from the 50s, she had the, the cashmere sweater, she had the saddle shoes, mm -hmm. and she had the poodle skirt, and a little scarf, I remember her tying around her neck. Mm -hmm. uh, but Pat, again, was the older sister, so she was always the one that kind of took care of us. Mm -hmm. And I guess that's how I'll always remember Pat. Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. Yep. Happy birthday.